All pictures seen in today's video are going to be color graded with the TJD color profile pack. And if you're watching this video, you're in luck. For the very first 10 people, you're going to get a coupon code you can use um, and the digital website, Shikakope, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. Go to shikakope.com, go to new arrivals, then you visit my TJD color play or TJD color profile, sorry, color profiles, then you add to cart after adding to cart all you have to do is apply the coupon code so let's view the cart and apply the coupon code tjd color play me i'm going to leave it in this video so you can see for the very first 10 people to use this link tjd color play me apply coupon and you're going to get 50 ghana cities off the amount charged equivalent in any other currency you have so before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon. And also, I'm just going to give you tips and tricks on what to do when you get on to a location you are going to shoot. Let's just get into today's video. hello guys welcome back to the channel so getting the best out of your location is i think the most important thing you need to have when you get into a location just scout just quickly scout the location a little bit i have shot at alma before so i really know exactly where i would wanted to put my model getting hold of alma wasn't i think difficult just because i think i followed a friend to a shoot one time there and i just took the number of the managers and all i did was email her proposal i'm going to put it up the screen just so that you can see how you can email um locations you want to shoot at um the format you have to go through and how best you can represent yourself just so that you get hold of the location it's either they give you a subsidized amount to pay or you pay in full or you get it for free all right so i've been shooting a lot with the canon 50mm recently and trust me i have been getting a lot of good images never underestimate the 50 millimeter lens the nifty 50. i nearly forgot that when i started photography that was exactly the lens i was using to create all my amazing portraits just so that where people were looking out for my images when, whenever i post them reposting them and all that it was the nifty 50. so this canon 50mm never underestimate it whatever 50 millimeter lens you have don't trade away just because you've bought other lenses just make use of that 50 millimeter lens shooting with different angles has really got to be one of my discoveries like you know i'm one guy who likes to shoot always eye level or down below and recently i've been trying this from the top kind of shoot whenever i'm shooting somewhere fashion and lifestyle and i've really really loved it so i've shot at alma a lot of times like i mentioned earlier and trust me changing my camera angles this time around with all the knowledge i have gotten so far shooting at different locations it, it, it was it was just marvelous like seeing the images i was getting different angles different compositions different um views of how alma should or can look in my images i was really really astonished i'm just going to put up images for you to see what i'm talking about i'm going to show you one from below and one from above and you're going to see how changing your angles or changing the perspective of your 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 eyes or your camera angles is going to change your image drastically from what you should before 
and what you're going to shoot now not forgetting to shoot open apertures so there's this um story going around that everyone is screams of location oh nice location nice location and when you get a location what do you pull up a 70 to 200 well it doesn't really make sense because it's just going to blare out a lot of things right so shoot open apertures and shooting open apertures the best you can shoot at f at a location i can say it's at f 2.8 that's if you really really want to go um low when it comes to apertures but shoot open apertures like f 2.8 f 3.2 3.5 i think i learned this from a youtuber she she mostly shoots f 2.8 and sometimes even f 2.5 i have never gone one beyond 1.4 before because i have a sigma at 85 1.4 but looking at what i have gotten so far i'm at a location i need to represent the location in my shots so i don't need to blare out the location i don't even need to shoot close-ups i need to represent the location so shoot more wide images with open apertures then i think you throw in a little bit of portrait close-ups just so that you can have varieties of images you have there so yeah shoot open apertures not forgetting to add props to your set like this has been something i haven't found interesting in a long time like i've seen a lot of images roaming on the internet on pinterest on google where people add flowers people add baskets like it hasn't been anything interesting to me so i started using them in my images so i started even color grading them and the way it adds to my image like the different colors it adds to the scene like there's the orange there's the chopboard there's the white knife there's the brown plate there's the green scenery there's the orange skin model like all these when i'm color grading with the color profiles i put up yo like they they really really make a difference so the different colors in the scene although it kind of distracts but after color grading and doing all it is you have to do to them adding the props to the shoot i did at alma i really really did love them and i'm sure you love them too by looking at the images i'm putting up right about now like yeah just make sure you add some props to your sets whenever you're shooting outdoors or at locations not forgetting compositions compositions are key when you're when you're, when you're creating your best of best images that's out there so i have shot at almost a lot of times i've seen this bar i've never really paid attention to it so i was like hey how about i try a different look this time around let me just try and follow this leading line so when you have to locations look out for leading lines look out for um the rule of test look out for anything that you might have learned and you have forgotten you see all these leading lines rule of text i probably learned them when you're starting photography incorporate them when you go to locations and that's how you can composite your images just so that they look great last but not the least trying something new but cliche so whenever any photographer goes to the pool they always let the models swim and they'll take a shot there fine it's cliche because obviously you still take a picture of the model swimming in the pool but try something new have you ever shot an image of a model swimming away or right about to dive in try that shot like you're seeing now so thank you for staying along this video thank you for learning anything new here don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel as usual don't forget to share this video like comment and leave anything that's bothering you in the comment section i'm going to get right to it Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video. Happies.